right I'm going to show a tutorial on using Visual Basic the, the it's basically a built-in compiler in Excel and it's a language you have that's built in Excel basically what you do is you will click on Excel options click on show developer tab in the ribbon this will lead you to access for Visual Basic now you click on the developer tab right here and then you'll click on Visual Basic you also have to here there's a security option you have to enable macros when you click on Visual Basic okay this is how it works we have our module this is where we write our functions and what you have to start off with is you have to always write option explicit also in Visual Basic it's not object oriented programming it's unlike C++ it's uh, also it's not uh, the letters are not uh, case sensitive it doesn't matter like how you write uh, if it's in capital letters or lowercase letters it doesn't matter it's not important in this language but it does matter in C++ now basically you would say you call you write a function name by function my fact this is the name of the function and this is the argument and as an integer and it's returning this as a double so how you declare a variable well first how you write comments is you have to use an apostrophe you use an apostrophe and you write common that's how you write a comment now what you want to do is to declare your variables you would have to write dim the variable name and then as the type so I'm writing the term as double and product as a double and I as an integer for the factorial function I have an if statement then an else like an if statement for if it gives you a negative number it won't compute the factorial so in the message box that will appear it will say it won't allow you to enter negative numbers now when I have else I'll have the product equal to one and the product is going to be in the loop keep on constantly multiplying by the term until you obtain that value for that n so we have a do while loop which what I said is that it will keep on multiplying by that term and it will keep on getting subtracted so that you'll end up with getting the right value and what you have to do is you have to take your product and you have to return it to my fact and then that's how you end function now if you want to look on Excel you'll see that you have a button here now how you implement this is that you'll have to go to sheet one you go to your sheet and you have to make a command box okay so what how we do it is you have to write option explicit you have to always write option explicit you have to use this function command fact underscore click so you can click on it and then you have to dim the n as an integer and basically what you do is you just keep on looping until that user enters a number between 0 and 170 you want it too high because you won't be able to do factorials for uh, really high numbers and basically it'll just print out uh, the answer that's how you would make the command box and here you have module 1 this is your function and then you have sheet 1 which is your command box so if we go back to Excel we click on it and now we enter in a number so if we enter in 5 the factorial should be 120 so when we do that, we get the answer 5 is equal to 120 factorial funds. And that is pretty much it. You could do, I don't technically, I don't like using Visual Basic. It's more for high school students. It's more an introduction to programming language. It doesn't have object oriented programming. It's not that powerful. You can't do that much stuff with it. It's just more for basic calculations. And thanks for watching the tutorial.